Hey everybody, what is going on with you guys today? It has been a while since I've made a video <laughs> and these past few months have been extraordinary. They have been amazing. Just, just I can't even describe to you how I feel right now at this moment. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jasmine Renee McCaskill. I am the founder of the Empowering and Motivational Hello Fear Movement. I created Hello Fear back when I had low self-esteem and depression. And I used to write poetry and my thoughts, and I just write them down. And I eventually, God eventually just said, put it on YouTube. So I made a YouTube channel, and I, that's why I put all of my thoughts, my poetry, everything out there. And since then, God has elevated me so much where I can do outreach work and just help people just outside of YouTube, you know? And as New Year came around, God, he was, he told me that I need to go back to my roots. And I didn't understand that at first. I was like, do I even have time for this? But now I understand why. So I'm happy and just amazed and, and just joyful. And I'm so happy to be back making videos. It's where I started from. And so I'm doing things a little bit different now. Um, my Hello Fear episodes used to be around seven to 10 minutes, maybe. And I realized that, that is a long time for people. <laughs> so I have decided to cut them down a little bit, probably around to like three minutes, just three minute little uh, segments of just one topic that I'm gonna break down something and try to provoke your thoughts and help you with your days. Cause these days can be long and you need to power of Jesus to get through it. I was watching a show a couple of nights ago and after the show ended, God poured into me something. Um, what he said to me was that I can pray all day. People can pray all day, but it only matters if you believe what you're praying. And when I say that is, you can't go into the prayer room not believing that there is a brighter day to what you are facing. I mean, if you do not believe what you are praying, then they're just dead words. Dead words is when your spirit is dead. And when your spirit is dead, your faith is dead. And if you pray when your faith is dead and your spirit is dead, then they're just dead words. They don't have power behind it. If you do not believe what you are praying in the midst of the prayer, after the prayer, and you, even before you even pray, then they're just dead words. You have to believe what you're saying, you have to believe that there is a brighter day to your trials. The only way you can speak life, like people say, I speak life, he speaks life. The only way you can speak life is if you believe that there is life on the other side of your trial. If you do not believe there is no life on the other side, then you're just speaking dead words. Now, faith. What is faith? In Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Faith is being sure what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Even in the midst of our situation, we have to keep our focus on God and remember what He promised us. He promised us a new beginning in Him. He promised us everlasting life if we believe through His Son, Jesus Christ. So when you pray and you go into that prayer room in your prayer closet or wherever you go, on your knees, wherever you go, if you do not believe what you are saying, then you are speaking dead words. It's time to be rebirth. It's time to be reborn. You have to know where your faith is. You have to put your faith in God alone. When you have your faith in God, then you have the power to change your situation through Jesus Christ, through God. So when you go into that prayer room, you think about your future and know that you have a future through Him. Everything that He does for your life, He does for a reason. It's all to shape you who you are. So when you pray, pray with the purpose. Pray with the knowing that your tomorrow is greater than your today. Pray knowing that you are victorious through the living God. Pray. Pray through your situation and know that through Jesus Christ alone, you are superior. Hello, dear.